What's up guys? My name is Kaylin. Welcome back to my channel and today we are doing these DIY Halloween Pusheen inspired treat bags. It's spooky season, it's my favorite time of year and Halloween is just a couple days away so I wanted to do something um, in honor of Halloween and I thought these would be really cute. So if you're new here, welcome to Crafty Treat Adventures. I do craft videos, cake videos, just love doing creative stuff and would love to have you as part of my adventure here. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, like I said, these are Halloween Pusheen inspired treat bags. These are little like mystery box keychains that they came out with. We're going to do the jack-o'-lantern zombie Pusheen, candy corn Pusheen, and Pusheen holding the little pumpkin. So first up is the jack-o'-lantern one. I just have some light gray and orange paper and cut it down to the width to match the treat bag. And then as you can see here, I kind of just put it up against the treat bag to figure out how long each piece needed to be to be able to overlap it and get the, the right length on them and then cut that down as well. And then just put some double-sided tape on them and started with the gray on the top and then went in and layered the orange below it on the bottom. Next up for the ears, I just grabbed some of the scrap that was left over from cutting the light gray, cut out two triangle shapes, put a little bit of glue on the very bottom of them, and then tucked them in under the light gray on the top of the treat bag. And then for this design, I needed kind of little paws peeking over the side of the jack-o'-lantern, so I just cut out those shapes from the rest of the scrap, put some glue on the back of them, and then put one on each side of our pumpkin. And then to finish off the jack-o'-lantern, I just went in with a pencil to sketch out the face, and then went back in with a marker to start outlining it. And as I started to color it in, this is where I realized that my Sharpie was on its deathbed and wasn't going to make it. So unfortunately, the only other black marker I had here was a very thin tipped Crayola washable marker. Um, so it, it took a little bit longer to color these in that I had planned, but um, now I know to stock up on my Sharpie collection next time I'm out for sure. So I'll cut this, save you guys some of the pain of uh, having to color that in with that tiny little marker. All right, and then Pusheen has her three little dark gray stripes at the top of her head, so I just went in with a gray marker that will show up dark enough on the top here and put those three little stripes at the top of her head. And then went in with my black marker and I had sketched out the face on the front of here, so I just went in with the black marker, traced over that to finish off our Pusheen in a jack-o'-lantern. Next up is Zombie Pusheen, so she is a little more of like a blue-green, kind of a minty green, so I got a paper as close as I could to that, cut that down to size. We're going to cover the whole front of the treat bag with this one, so just put some double-sided tape on the back of it and then put it on there. And then for the arms and legs, I have this cutting set. I don't know if you can find this anywhere. This was back in like the Creative Memories uh, scrapbooking <laughs> time, and so I'm pretty sure these came from Michaels at that point, and I've had them forever. Um, it's, a, it's a really cool little cutting set, but I just used that to cut out these little shapes for the arms and legs. Had four of those total, and then just put a little bit of glue on the back of them 
And then I just went ahead and put two of these at the bottom for her little feet. And at this point I wanted to draw out the design before putting the arms at the top so just went in with a pencil and drew out the um, face details and then Zombie Pusheen has kind of those little stitches going across the neck portion. I love her little angry face and eyebrows. So cute. Then just went in with the black marker, filled in those details. And now we can go back in and put those arms on there. Same thing as the last one for the ear shape, just took some scrap, cut out two triangle shapes and put them on the top of her head. And went in and put her three little gray stripes at the top. And that's it for zombie pushing. Next up is candy corn pusheen. So for this one I had white, yellow, and orange. Cut them down to the width and then similar to the first one just kind of measured them up on the treat bag so I had equal spacing for each of them before I cut down the length for them. And then just layered them onto the bag in order and finished off the base for this one. And I just went back in with the same cutting set from the last one and cut out the orange arms and the yellow legs for her. Went ahead and glued those into place. And then again, for the ears, just cut out some triangle shapes in the white from the scrap paper and glued those into the top. And at this point, I could go in, trace out the face in pencil, and then go back in with my black marker and trace it out and add in the gray stripes on the top as well. And candy corn pusheen is done. For a final design, I have the pusheen holding the little pumpkin. So similar to the other ones, just cut down the width and length. For this one, it's just going to be a pure light gray base. And then I went ahead and cut out the triangles for the ears. and then moved on to the pumpkin. So for this one, I grabbed a circle cutter. This is kind of my favorite way to do a paper pumpkin. It's super easy. Um, just cut out three circles of the same size, and then you're going to kind of overlap two in the back and put one in the front to give yourself a cute little pumpkin shape. And then just cut out a little brown stem to throw in it to finish off the pumpkin. And 
then went in with more light gray to cut out uh, arms and legs for to put on there and then it's just a matter of assembling so put her legs on the bottom then put the pumpkin into place and then put her little arms on there to look like she's holding the pumpkin Then all we need to do is go sketch the same face as the last one on the top here and color it in with marker and that'll be all there is to this design. And we're done. This is our set of four Pusheen Halloween inspired treat bags. I thought these designs were so cute when I saw them and I just thought it would be fun to do something, um, you know, with those designs and turn it into something fun for Halloween. I love Halloween. I'm so glad it's almost here. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know which design is your favorite. I think I lean towards Zombie Pusheen. I just love the attitude there and I just think she's adorable. Um, so if you guys are celebrating Halloween. I hope you guys have a great Halloween. Have fun. Stay safe. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you would like to see my future adventures, be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you on the next adventure.